Previously on Patents TV, I showed you how to pair an APH Orbit Braille display with a tablet for access to literacy. In this episode, we'll explore the Orbit standalone features for tactile reading and writing. Hello, I'm Bev Sherritt, one of the patent specialists. Many of you in Indiana have checked out the Orbit Braille display for your students who are learning Braille. The device is easily paired via Bluetooth to a tablet so that students can access online content. Today, I'd like to show you the standalone features that are also available on the device. I love the simplicity of the controls on the Orbit, especially for younger students just beginning to learn about Braille displays. Of course, you have the six key entry for Braille. One, two, three, four, five, six, just like on a Braille writer. And then you have the seven and eight key for backspace and enter, along with the space bar in the center. The rocker keys will uh, advance the Braille display forward and backward. And then the mouse control button in the center has the up and down or in left and right keys and also a select or enter option in the center. These will give your students their first lesson on screen navigation and teaching the concepts of up and down, left and right, and how a mouse and keypad are used by sighted peers. I think of the two major functions on the Orbit as right brain and left brain. To switch between the two, you simultaneously press the center mouse key with either the right or left mouse key buttons. So center plus right, right brain takes, switches you to the remote display, and center select button with the left mouse key takes you back to the standalone function. When you switch to the standalone function, you don't need to be on the internet, but you do have to access files to teach and practice braille reading and writing. Again, the device is simple compared to other braille displays, so the only option for storage is on the SD card via the slot in the back of the device. And when you order one of these devices, it comes with an SD card. Of course, you could add other ones. The device can only read one format as well, and that format is BRF or Braille files. So if you have a Word file or some other file, you're going to need Braille translation software to translate it to a BRF file. So you put that file on this card, and after you load it in and turn it on, it goes immediately to that file list. The simplicity of this device can give you and your students the confidence to access literacy. There are only two commands that you need to teach for navigating the file list and opening a file. Super simple, not a lot of keystrokes to learn. You can provide great foundation for using Braille displays with more features as your student transitions into upper grades. <music> 